Good morning, paddlers. How are you doing? This is our latest generation two 12 foot all carbon prone. Um, we are preparing this for shipping. I'm so glad I was able to check it out before I ship it out. As you can see, these boats have a lot of innovative features. Number one being the uh, concaves we have here, right? What these concaves do is they stiffen the entire board. It's like a, what I call no stringers. So every time you put a crease into a flat surface, it makes it stronger. Try it. It's on a piece of paper, you'll do it. So these strength lines go from here on this crease, goes all the way along the rail, to a hard corner on the tail. So the whole board is completely locked in as a super stiff frame. Now, these cutouts allow you to really bury your shoulder in so that when you paddle, you can get a longer stroke without tipping the boat over. But it doesn't matter because of our bottom concaves, it allows for a tremendous secondary, secondary stability. But we'll get to that when you talk about the bottom. Your water bottle holders here. And you notice, as unlike most prones, the well is not down there. It's the pad comes all the way on the top. Um, I always thought, why don't we build an integrated chin rest into the board itself? This does add a little bit of volume to the board, but it doesn't affect the performance of the board. Instead of having this, which is the usual thing to do, basically is that. You can still, we still supply this. You can still use this if you really want to cant it forward. But technically, this board, you really don't need a chin rest if you don't want to, right? So this is an option, right? So you can also get your weight over it and you can get a deeper cut. The board actually paddles narrow because of the arm cutouts. And um, this tail is very streamlined tail. Frankly, I love the way uh, outrigger canoes can turn so easily. I know it's a foot pedal. So this is a much more streamlined tail. So your tail is a lot more maneuverable when you're surfing, quartering left and right, especially in a 12 footer, right? You're gonna surf it in closer crest. This is so much more efficient. All these work together to work with the bottom. And let's go down to the bottom. So, let's look at the bottom. What's different with it? So, this is what I mean by when you're paddling and you lift the board, if your stroke's correct, the width of the board when you plane up high is gonna move from this width, which is on this board is 20.1 inches, it'll move to about 14 inches, right? So a narrow hull that you travel in is gonna be a lot faster. Look at what we call the flow through concave. Water, air enters into this way, shoots right through. So there's less drag. And if you're tending to wobble the board because the water's choppy or you wanna put, so if the board wobbles like that, it will catch on the secondary chain. Most boards are rounded bottom. It's like a rolling a log. A log doesn't catch, it keeps rolling. So, and if you really need the frontal ventral fin, because it's extreme wind conditions, then you can put a, a small fin here to help with lateral stability. Most guys don't need it. Definitely you don't want to use it when you're surfing left and right hard. But this is only for extreme conditions where you're on a practice run or you're in a race with it. You know it's crazy 20 mile winds on the side, one way or the other. This three inch, FCS 2 fin will help you stabilize the board just like that. It makes a huge difference. So, when you're thinking about drag, most boards that are rounded bottom, it sits in the water, it's a 100% wetted surface area. When this board planes up, it will be mostly at most 40% wetted surface area because most of the board is out. The less drag, the faster. It's that simple. For the same amount of effort, you can go a lot lot faster. Not only that, this is a hard rail, the whole length of the board, right? So that if you do surf it quarter hard, this rail will bite and bite, right? And you can control the board a lot better. However, even better, these features are basically kind of stringers because every hard crease, every hard crease, make a corner like that, is basically one, two, three, four, five. These are all points of strength. If you take a piece of paper and put five folds in it, suddenly that piece of paper is a lot stiffer because of the creases. The only thing is, most people don't do this, is because finishing these creases are very difficult. Laminating a corner, 
sanding a corner and then painting it and then buffing and polishing it, corners are very difficult. So it's much easier to do rails about this shape and to sand this way because it's handwork. So what's good for making the board easier is not necessarily good physics. So we vacuum back this board every layer, twice or three times, depending on what lamination. And these corners can only be achieved with very hard vacuum bagging. So understand why everything on the board, there's a reason. There's a detail to everything. And I forgot to mention, the kick pads are there for you to lock yourself onto the board. And all these little, like finishing the concaves here, it is an impossible task. You cannot run a sanding buffer on this. This is, all has to be done by hand, right? The amount of care and labor needs to go into this is astronomical. So I just want you to understand what you're getting when you're getting a hyper Hawaii all carbon board. It is truly unobtainium. Thank you. The board is super light. It's ridiculously light, right? Um, we don't. We could make it lighter. Come closer now. We could make it a lot lighter, right? But it won't be as strong. This board comes in at 20, 21 pounds. Um, the only way to make it lighter is take out another layer. You can make a 17 ounce, it's a 70 pound board, but you're gonna make it weaker. This is, listen, it's bulletproof. Sounds like metal. It doesn't have a dull thud, it's got a metallic twang to it because the board is so stiff and so strong. You can serve a 10 foot face wave and you'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Also, I get a lot of questions. Why do you make it black? was well, not a color issue. That's the color of carbon. There's no such thing as blue carbon or red carbon or Ace Tech or all the fancy marketing names you see other companies use. We use carbon, real carbon. And we don't paint over our handiwork, right? We try to make the board at least 99% flawless because it takes a lot of handiwork to make a perfect naked board. As you can see, you, 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 there's no hiding in it. Now, a lot of people ask me, come closer, Lauren. a lot of people ask me, well, uh, can you leave your board in the sun? Yes, you can, because we put so much uh, vacuum bagging to it, 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 it will not, won't delaminate. It will still get hot. You can't change the laws of physics. Yeah? If I leave this board in the uh, hot noon sun, if I pop an egg here, I probably could cook an egg right here, put some butter and an egg, I could fry it there slowly, but it won't damage the board, right? So if you're not a careful owner, you won't delaminate the board, but over time, if you leave the board on the top of your car all day, every day for a couple of years, what the sun does do is does break down epoxy resin and it will take down the surface layer to be a little crumbly. It won't destroy the board. The question is, doesn't it get hot? Yes, it does. It will get hot. And the real question is not that it does it get hot, is people are worried about delamination. So let's talk about that, delamination. We vacuum this board at least twice, maybe three times, once for every layer. So we make sure all the layers are super, you know, bonded together. So no matter how long you leave in the sun, it won't delaminate. So what you have to do to fix it is basically you have to wet sand the whole board down, probably put another coat of epoxy to fix it and we clear it. Well, you know, I can't, I can't tell you that in the water, the board is not hot. The, 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 it's a very quick conductor of heat. You're never gonna get hot. It only gets hot if you leave it at the car at work or at home. So it does require a bit of care on the owner's part. So you, what you see is what you get. There's no such thing as blue carbon, red carbon, Ace Tech, whatever fancy marketing name you have. This is it. So it's easy to fix. You don't have to match the paint. But if you want your board to stay pristine, this board will stay pristine for forever, 30 years, if you take the time to take care of it. Do you see that board back? We, we, we provide that board back. It's an incredibly protective board back. You can't scrape it. So just like if you own a Ferrari or Lamborghini, right? It requires a careful owner, an owner that cares. So. Our boards, most of our board owners are extremely uh, careful with, the, with their product. So good care is 
will allow you to keep the board forever. Thank you.